Hello and welcome to Hackista TV and today I have to start with a disclaimer. This hack that I will demonstrate is illegal when done in public. In this video, I will be showing you how GPS spoofing is done. It used to be expensive to do this and is only used by the military for counter defense, spoofing the locations of the submarines or plane. But now, fast forward to today, software-defined radio is a very common technology. And GPS spoofing is used in various illegal activities. Like, for example, if you are stupid enough to try and steal an ATM machine, you have to spoof the GPS location of it because most of the modern ATM machines would have a GPS tracking device. Or for example, you want to steal an important cargo on transit. The cargo is most likely using geofencing, meaning it will remain locked until it arrives at the designated location. With that out of the way, let's start. I will be using a hack RF1 and its software in this demonstration. The first thing you need to do is Go to the NASA website, register, and download the current location of the GPS satellite. Now, don't worry, I will be sharing the link down below. So, let's just download the latest file for today. Okay. Now, after we have downloaded, let's go to the folder. And what you will see is that this is something that is a zip file. So, you just have to using a file, 7-zip file manager, you just have to get the actual file and extract it. Okay, so after extracting it, <laughs> didn't. After that, let's download the source code for the GPS spoofing maintained by the creator of HackRF1, Michael Osman. But before we proceed, I would like to tell you that for those who are aspiring to be a hacker, you don't need to be a great programmer. You just need to be comfortable in analyzing codes, compiling them, and learning how to use it. Now for this one, since it's on GitHub, don't worry, again, I'll be sharing the link down below. All we have to do is git clone this um, source code. So let's copy this. Let's go to our virtual machine and let's just type do git clone. And let's just wait. Now, part of what I what I am telling you earlier is that you need to read the readme file and as you can see here there is this line that we can use later for compiling the software or the application that we will be using so I will just copy paste this and let's go back check and it has finished let's double check the folder okay cd gps gp tab and let's do sudo control shift b and it will now compile the file that we will be using for spoofing so ls and there it is now the next thing we will be doing is we will be creating a bin file that we will feed to our hack RF and that will be the one that will be sending the signal. Now to create the bin that we will be feeding to our hack RF, the first thing we need to do is let's copy the file to the folder the one that we have downloaded from the NASA website earlier. Okay, now 
the next thing is let's execute this let's execute a command okay so let's just clean it up a little okay so if you're gonna check the syntax here this is our file that we have downloaded from the NASA website this is the um, coordinates of where we want to spoof and let's just click enter to create the file okay now that we are done the next thing that we need to do is to feed this the one that it has created to the the bin file that was created to our hack rf okay now the next thing we need to do is to attach our hack rf into our pc okay and let's connect it to the virtual machine click ok now let's type ls u ls usb and here it did uh, hack rf is currently connected to our virtual machine so it's all good and the command that we need to send is this okay now let me tell you what this command does and it does is this is the payload that will be sent to our hack rf and whatever is in this payload which is the coordinates it will be sent by uh, hack rf using this frequency and using this sample rate okay now let's click enter and as you can see now hack rf is sending the signal for our gps spoofing now we need to double check if it is actually working now we can check if our attack is working now let's open google maps here oh, let me just put the code And let's open Google Maps. And let's check our current location. As you can see, the location is spoofing somewhere in Africa, in Algeria, which is, I'm pretty much sure I am not there. And with this, I have demonstrated to you an important radio frequency hack which is GPS spoofing. Now next time if you for example suspect someone has hidden an Apple AirTag in your car to track you, hey, you know what to do. And if you enjoy this video, just feel free to check out my other hacking videos here on Hakista TV. Till next time, my fellow Hakista.